Good morning guys. Welcome to our My Trucking Life 181. You are back in your rightful box. Thanks to my best friend and probably best man, Gareth. He uh, watched my video last Thursday or Friday and rang me up the next day asking for my address as he'd uh, bought myself a SD card so thanks a lot for that my friend means ever so much hope you all had a great bank holiday weekend Maureen was absolutely fantastic uh, had a barbecue, an impromptu barbecue on Saturday helped my neighbour out on the Sunday filling his uh, skip full of rubble which was a challenging couple of hours um, and then did a bit of shopping and usual like that didn't go out anywhere extravagant like we we always like to do that but can't really afford it lately anyway um, yeah what did you lot do for bank holiday anything exciting anything nice either way I hope you had a great one and got some much earned time at home if you're away a lot we are we've just put our card in and we've got to go over to my old stomping grounds uh, I'll show you more when we're there we've got to get a load of steel sections to take over to Burton I believe so without further ado I'm going to put you on your windscreen and we can start the ball rolling again with some proper videos instead of just on my mobile phone. Alright guys, well we're just at the steel section place now. I'm going to be loading some steel to take over to Burton. And uh, as I touched on just, I'm at an old stomping ground of mine. Uh, the place is called Amber Foods in uh, Wensbury. Uh, doing a lot of stuff for Two Sisters Chicken Company. And it's where I started my trucking career. Um, fortunately, I'd wanted to do it all my life, and my uncle very gratefully put me through, uh, trained me up to my rigid, and didn't have any work for me straight away. So I can continue to be a van driver for the next couple of months, and then the next year, uh, around about April time. He offered me a job driving his little rigid, and then about two to three weeks after driving the rigid, he booked me in for my Arctic Arctic lessons. Totally out of the blue, I never realised he was going to take it up to the Arctic level. So uh, yeah, I owe my uncle a lot. He's changed my life for the good. It's what I always wanted to do, but was never able to afford to. So. I haven't looked back ever since and never regretted it. Uh, I worked for him for roughly three years and then uh, last year was when I branched off, started tramping and uh, if you check out my channel from there you, you'll all know my story. But uh, anyway, when I got back into the cab I've just been told and, and I don't know what's gone on but bird poo Bird poo have got on the uh, dash, left me a little note, and they've even poured me a cup of coffee. So, uh, not quite sure what it is. 500 sub hype. Now, I could do something really funny and hilarious and extravagant and start dancing around the room, which is exactly what I want to do, but I'm a little bit more timid this morning and uh, weary of my surroundings so I am absolutely over the moon guys I watched it approach 470 odd and it started to slow down and I lost one or two and then last night it was uh, it was sitting on 499 and I went to tell my mates about, I was talking to my mates about the channel and went to double check how many I'd got and it hit 500 and uh, I'm over the moon, I really am, really am over the moon, it's unbelievable. 
every new subscriber means a lot but to reach a 500 milestone now is absolutely amazing and it looks like there's not just me who's noticed because bear with me one minute I don't want to get the name wrong. Right, Jonathan Charles, where you're the first person to congratulate me, buddy. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, just now it's 500 subs. Congratulations. If Trucker Steve is going to jump in the sea at a thousand subs, what's young Christopher gonna do? Well, I have been contemplating stuff like this for a while, and. I'm kind of considering whether putting my old beard on the line at a thousand subs. Um, James White and maybe one or two others, I'm not sure, suggested doing it for like 200 or so, but I got I was too attached, and I am very attached to my beard. And I don't want to get it shaved off, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll go clean shaven when I hit a thousand subs. So the beard will go. Unless I get many of you objecting, which I can't see happening, I'll get my kids, I'll get the kids to shave the beard off. Or my partner, my dear, sorry. <laughs> I'll get my dear to cut it off because I know deep down I think she'd uh, gladly get rid of it. So. That is my thousand sub challenge, so to speak. Uh, believe me or not, it's up to you, but I actually was going to get Louise to douse me in makeup and do me a, a makeover for my 300 video, I think. But we settled on the Bean Boozle special. Um, I was all set to do it, and we was actually going to do it, but... Nah, I kind of thought about it and tried picturing it in a video kind of format and I couldn't really see it working, but maybe, let me know in the comments if you want to see that, <laughs> maybe we could integrate it because it'll be a bit hard to put me makeup on with me beard, but I'll, I'll think about it, it's definitely something I could... I contemplated and still could be in the pipelines, but I might do that for like 2,000. It depends all how, how the channel grows, and the only way the channel can grow is if you guys spread the word. I spread the word myself as much as I can without being too cheesy or too too cheeky, really. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with the way the channel is growing. It, yeah, it could grow at a faster speed, but then I'd end up with thousands of people telling me what to do and nah, I'm happy with how slow it's growing at the moment. It's a journey, just like every day in my life, it's a journey. And it's not even a year now, and it wasn't until yesterday that um, when I was telling my friends when I was, I was showing them the 100 sub special, which was four months ago. So in four months, We've gone, we've quadrupled our size, and um, it makes everything worthwhile. Your feedback, your comments, your support when I had uh, my anxiety was absolutely amazing, guys. Um, well, I say my anxiety, I've had, I always have that, but you know, what went on over Christmas anyway. And your support when I admitted to you guys which I didn't really think would have touched so many of you. Like, a lot of you did pick up on that and comment on it, whereas I just saw it as me just telling you something else, you know. So, yeah, I'm glad I told you all. I'm not embarrassed or ashamed of it and everything, so. Before I get too emotional, we're going to be loading steel sections for Burton. The reason why I'm so chilled and why I've been able to blab on to you for eight minutes is because we're not ready to be loaded till half seven. 
Then while I was not panicking, but while I was like hurrying up at the yard to get my timbers and get everything ready, it was all in. It was all in error slash no need because we're half an hour early anyway. So let's get on with the day, shall we? While I'm at it, I've babbled on for long enough, but while I remember. Yeah. Uh, steel sections loading for Burton. Sorry about that. Right, where was I? We've got a few new subscribers to shout out, and these are the last few leading up to 500. So, Luke C and HDV, you've subscribed to me, bro. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure ke keeping up with your work and out seeing you progress in your career and thanks for liking the Facebook page as well uh, Romano, Phil Lockley The Voyager 252 Bigfoot Jason uh, MGB Bez and I'll guess that the 500th subscriber is the, last, the latest notification yesterday and it was Planes Link you my friend may possibly be my 500th subscriber so welcome to all of you I nearly, yay we've got to end it with a liquid incident I've spilt me coffee <laughs> so right guys we're loaded up uh, it's another bit of nostalgia as well because the the metal sections that I've picked up uh, they're what you call cold roll sections, which is what I used to do as, from the age of about 18 to 24. I used to work in a factory doing exactly the same kind of stuff, so interesting to see another company, how their similarities are between theirs and, and, and even the products that I'm loaded now and are on the trailer. I used to make them myself, pre-pierced uh, big sections. So yeah, I'll show you a glimpse of the load shortly. Alright guys, well I've been thinking slightly more about what to do for the 500 subs. Uh, I've decided to do another question and answers guys. Uh, so, I'll open it up to you. On Saturday, time permitting, I'll do another question and answers video. So. I'll be reminding you all during this week's videos, any comments, any questions you want to ask me about trucking life, my channel, my private life to some extent, uh, trucking in general, you know, anything you want to ask me, just fire away, whack it in the comments, and I'll obviously answer them in a video. Nothing too taxing though, I'm not... You know, I'm not exactly a thicko, but I haven't got the IQ of Stephen Hawking's either, so I would... <laughs> anything mathematical or algebraical, I might not be able to help you answer those, or... Any prophecies or anything like that. <laughs> There's A.S. Taylor's Golden Griffin. We do flash each other, he flashes us, he's familiar with the firm. I uh, don't really know who he is, but I'll give him a friendly wave because reasons. Um, in June or July, there's a truck racing event at Donington Park. There's also a Scania slash any truck uh, show. Uh, Scania are actually going for a record of the most trucks of one manufacturer gathered. In either a, it's either a convoy or a meet. I don't know if they're going to do an actual parade slash convoy with us all, but um, I'm not sure whether I want to take Cinderella and go for the weekend personally. But on the other hand, it's a weekend away, and uh, I might just uh, have to settle for going with the family on Sunday and not taking. Cinderella um, so hopefully in July we'll be going there 
regarding taking Cinderella, like I say, I'd love to do it. Uh, I've actually commented on the Scania website, uh, Facebook page, sorry. Posted a picture of Cinderella, and they've asked that uh, they've actually asked for a few more pics, so I've private messaged them as well. So they're definitely keen, and they've asked if they can repost. So if you like Scania, if you like their Facebook page, which some of you may already do, they may even be reposting something to do with the truck, or even my page. I've had, I've told them about my page and my channel and what I do. So you never know, there might be a bit of a free plug and a bit of publicity for me by Scania UK, which is, you know, a pretty big scene. So yes, I, like I say, I'll have a long think about whether I will be going with the truck or not. But I value my weekends and the family time obviously over taking a lorry to a car, uh, show. So we, we'll see about that one. But we'll, we should definitely go to the event itself. Thinking about it, it might be June or July the 22nd, that weekend. So like I say, Q&A, answer to your questions will be on Saturday, time permitting, or over the weekend. So fire away guys. Alright guys, well I totally forgot to show you the load before I started tipping. Uh, those sections there and a few 6 metre ones that have... Oh, it's these ones in front of them. That's what we've brought. And it's also what I used to make many years ago. So, like I've touched on earlier, I've got a bit of a confidential kind of load to do now. So I'll get back to you later on when I've done it. So it is now half past four and to cut a long story short because I can't discuss the load itself, uh, basically there was a bit of a delay for whatever reason and um, I'm ended up taking the load back to our yard. It's nothing high value, it's nothing secretive, it's nothing nuclear, it's nothing like that but I just can't tell you what's going on and uh, I'm going to be delivering it first thing in the morning so basically this will be the last clip of the video I uh, just want to reiterate about the question and answers pop some in the uh, comments uh, tomorrow the vlog will start at a later time once I've completed this delivery so apologies for that but uh, you know like I can normally say I'm sure you'll understand so been a great day I, I'm sorry it's been more of a talking day as opposed to a, you know showing you things and that there's a lot of listening and if you're still watching now I well, thank you for that I bet I've bored the hell out of you but anyway I want to thank you all for watching thank you again for helping me hit 500 subs yes and I shall catch you all in tomorrow's vlog guys